In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a link pop in your store. So link pop is a link in bio created by Shopify for Shopify stores. So stick around until the end so you can know how to create it and know much more in detail what link pop is. If you have Shopify store, you really don't want to miss this out. So link pop is a landing page that allows you to connect customers to Shopify account, social medias, and even create shoppable links that your customers can actually purchase directly from it. So before I show you how to create your link pop landing page, these are the few important things you need to know even way before you jump into um, link pop links. So if you are a big business and you have a huge online presence, you can use link pop to share content with your customers with just one single click. And for businesses who are just starting out, link pop is a great way to showcase your social medias, link your websites, or even showcase your products with a good deal that maybe you're offering, maybe a sale, or just showcase your, um, your products so customers can just click right away and purchase your product. And for those who are brand new, they're just starting out their brand, they don't have a huge social media presence, you can use Shopify link pop to showcase your product and just get connected with customers and make them entertained. So before setting up your link pop landing page, here are the few things you need to put into consideration. First, you can create multiple link pop landing pages associated with one um, email address. Also, when you are in the process of creating your link pop landing pages, make sure the email address that you're using is actually matching the email uh, that belongs to the store or the owner email of the store. And this is the most important point you need to remember. Once you have created your link pop landing pages, the URL that you're going to add on your page, that will be your permanent. Make sure it is correct and it's right because once you put it, that's it. There is no going back. So uh, be sure you're paying attention to that and be careful. So let's go ahead and start creating our link pop landing pages. But if you're enjoying this video so far, please be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and let's jump straight on today's video. So the first step, go to linkpop.com. I will leave the link down below on the description. And this is how the link pop page should be looking like. Then go to sign up for free if you don't have um, Shopify ID yet. But if you have, okay, so if you don't have a Shopify ID yet, just click sign up for free and then you can continue creating your Shopify ID by email with Apple, with Facebook or continue with Google. But if you have a, a Shopify ID, just click here where it says sign in and then, and then put your email address. Okay, and this will direct us to Shopify. Next, we are going to create our profile. So this will be your page info. You're going to put your um, your profile page URL and then upload the image and your profile name, also a profile description. So you have to pay attention that your profile URL is the link, uh, the link that you're going to add here. This is the link you'll share with your customers when they visit your link pop landing page. As you can see here, there's also a warning so that your profile page URL is the link you will use for your link pop profile and can be placed in your social media. And this cannot be changed after creation. So you have to be careful uh, with the link uh, with the link that you're going to add in here. So I'm going to paste my link. And then um, now we are going to upload an image. So you can upload an image of your store logo. Okay, and then you can upload the profile photo. Um, this can be a profile for your store logo or the profile that you want. And then, and then put your profile name. So next, add a short bio or a description of your shop um, under your profile name right here. So it's a it's a good idea to write something short and punchy to grab your customer's attention. Um, so I'm gonna write coffee cups 
for everyone. And then after that, click create profile. And then you'll be directed on the other page with more option of editing your landing page. So first of all, you're going to have to start adding your shoppable links to your link pop landing page. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by adding products. So you can pretty much add product, add media, different links. You can add different affiliate product links and Amazon affiliate links. So let's start by adding different products. So click add um, product and then click next to toggle through the link pop information. Keep clicking and then click take me to my store. And this is my store. And then I'm going to log in. Then I'm going to put add sales channel. So if you have more than one Shopify store, choose the store, um, choose the store name of the shop you want to connect to your link pop landing page. So after that, you'll be taken to your Shopify admin page. And now you'll see you have a new sales channel on or right over here where it says link pop. So you should now see, um, so after, so after you followed all these stage, you should now see link pop as an available sales channel on the left hand right here okay so next select your store name to connect your link pop landing page to your shopify account so you're going to do that so now after connecting link pop and our shopify store now it's time to add product so we can browse product here so if you have many products you can just click browse here and you can select the product that you want to put on your link pop link pop landing page so let me start by that and i am going to click select so that is one of the product and then you can also delete it if you don't want and then we can add media so if you want to add um if you have like a youtube channel um you can put the title of the video so let's say you want to put delicious delicious coffee on the fancy cup just put a title that is going to be like eye catching for your customers and then you can add the link of the video so we're going to paste it and you can see here the video will be linked just like that really easy okay so you can add more let's keep customizing it and then you can add links you can share other content or website if you have so um let's say you want to link your your shopify store okay so let's say you want to link your store you can paste it here and you can type in shop in my store Okay. and then you can upload a thumbnail this is optional but you can go ahead and do it so it can look really nice here and then you can add affiliate affiliate product links if you have or an amazon affiliate links so yeah that's pretty much it and then you can go on the style so over here you can change uh, colors that goes with your brand and then you can change the card color and then you can change link colors as well card shape as you can see as i keep clicking the card shape keeps changing so pick what you want and you can also change the font so as you pick different fonts the fonts keeps changing on your landing page and you can also pick the color of your font as well. And then if and then if you're happy about how your link pop LinkedIn page will be looking like, let's go to the buyer here. This is this will be your page info. For example, um, so this will be for your page info. This will be the URL. So this is the link you um you will use for your link pop profile and can be placed in your social buyer and it cannot be changed it's the link that we added before so if you want to make 
um, changes, you can go ahead and do it. And then you can add your social media here. So you can add your Shopify store. So I'm going to paste my Shopify store and it will be linked here. And then you can put the email address. So I'm going to add the email address. Okay, and then you can add your Facebook, Instagram. Okay, so I am going to add the Instagram. Okay, and then your Instagram will be there as well as your Facebook. You can add Facebook too. If you have a YouTube, you can add it too and so many more. Okay, so if you're happy on how your link pop is actually looking like, and once you're happy with everything, click publish and your link pop will be published. And this is how your link pop will be looking like. So let's click this link here and view it, how it's actually looking like. So when we click that, we can see here, this is how our link pop landing page will be looking like. So this will be um, my stove. And this is the video that shows more of the cups that we are offering in our store and how you can actually make your iced coffee using them. Uh, by the way, this is just a random video. I took it from YouTube just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, and these are the products that are available in my store. So, and these are the social media. When they click, they'll be directed on my store. So all these links, they are all clickable. So when they click my store, so this is my store, the email, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And also when they click this, they'll be taken back on my store. And there you have it. Now you know how to share your links with LinkPop. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.